picture of this hair on my Instagram and I just you know I changed my Instagram name now it's Victorious Logan to match my Twitter name which is also Victorious Logan so it's no longer Vicky Logan I just want everybody to know that um so just in case there was some confusion yeah if you're brave like me you get a kick out of trying stuff like this so um this is a grayish lavender color wig by um, evawigs.com and if you want to know all the information about this wig of course you know that'll all be in the description box you guys can check that out if you want but um this is actually not one of their stock units this is a custom version of a wig that they have on the site and like I said you can check out that link and it'll show you a picture of what the wig looked like before it was colored but um, I had them color me a wig like this I was thinking about doing a wig like this myself um, attempting to lighten an already blonde wig but I decided to just um, get the wig made already because I'm lazy and I'm pretty sure I would have messed the wig all the way up but um, yeah I really like this wig you guys if you know me you know that I've been talking about having gray hair since I was like in high school so I thought I'd try it out for myself since it's on trend right now this is just like an experiment for me it's not like a permanent thing but I really love this color y'all y'all don't even know how excited I'm about it but anyway I'm really hoping that low-key like my hair grays like super early because in my family when people gray they go like super silver so I'm so excited to be a superhero you have no idea the wig is a silky texture I'm more of a yakky texture myself but I like this wig even though it is a silky texture I feel like because it's colored so light yakky would not have worked out I probably it probably would have been like really dry and brittle so I think that's why it has to be silky, which I'm fine with because it looks good either way. I switched the part over to a side part because I'm more of a side part person myself. And I felt like with this style, you need more of like an edgier kind of part instead of just a plain middle part that's kind of boring. And you know me, I do things differently. So I switched over the part and I cut a long layer bang. And then the hair was 20 inches, but I cut it. Um, the hair was 20 inches, but I cut it to about boob length. So it's probably about like... 16 inches I want to say um, but oh my god I love this color it's just so pretty out it's so pretty even if you think that it looks wiggy I don't even care this color is just so gorgeous like I love silverish platinum hair I just I love it you don't have to like it of course you can thumbs down this video all you want to but I love it so um, I know some people are always having issues getting their wigs to lay really really flat this wig came flat which I love about evil wigs wigs because that's pretty redundant evil wigs wigs I feel like their wigs are already laid like when I get them they're pretty flat all I had to do was run my flat iron through the hair to get it to to get the part to move all I had to do was wet it like I drenched this part of the wig and then I combed it over and then I let it sit overnight um, and then to make the part match all I had to do was just put some uh, foundation that's a little bit lighter than my skin tone on top of the part and match it with my part and that's pretty much it. It's a pretty simple thing to do. If you're having trouble laying your wigs, I'll, I'll, maybe I can do a video for you guys on another wig. I will show you at the end of this video how I put it on and things like that. Um, hopefully it's helpful to you. But uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. That's all I wanted to do was come show you guys this hair. I freaking love this hair. And if you like it, give me a thumbs up. If you don't like it, you don't have to say anything. You don't have to tell me how ugly it is. Just nod your head and move on somewhere else if you guys have any questions please let me know i will answer them i have more videos back to school videos coming for you guys if you guys have any suggestions for back to school videos other than a lookbook i will try to do them for you and um yeah i'll talk to you guys in the next